Hey VC, how's it going? Right, okay, the car boot season is well underway. I've been to a few car boot sales over the last few weeks, so I thought I'd show what I've been picking up. Um, there's also a few records that I bought just out of cheap bins in, um, just a pound bins in, in local record stores. So yeah, see what you think. But first up, this is what I'm listening to in the background. Hopefully you can hear this. Um, this is a nice bit of VCLT from Martin Parrott. Now, Martin, he's, he sent me some nice records over the years, actually. Um, I think his channel name is now The Vinyl Scavenger. But he sent me a nice message just basically saying that he'd found this record and um, he thought that I would appreciate it more than, more than he did. And uh, it's by an artist, well, by a band called Guacasson. Um, the, al the album's called Voyage. Uh, you have to excuse my pronunciation. But um, yeah, so it's a little bit funky, um, a bit of an Afro beat. Um, flavor in there as well and there's certainly a jazz influence as well but um a really nice record i think this is actually a compilation of their stuff but um yep lovely stuff right okay so some car boot pickups so start off with just a few 45s so first up this is on the atlantic label um this is barbara lewis and the track girl need loving care now i say this was just a cheap just a just a pound but it's a lovely mid-60s sort of soul pop tune uh, and I'll perhaps do a brief needle drop on that because it is very nice, but I say, yeah, just a cheapie. And from the same seller, I also bought this. Now, this is a nice version of Light My Fire, obviously the door song uh, by Retta Hughes. Now, I won't do a needle drop on this one because last time um, I, I played a clip of a version of Light, Light My Fire, it was a, the Shirley Bassey version and it was blocked. So I'm assuming it's the song that's, uh, that's blocked. So, um, but yeah, check that out. Very nice stuff. And just the last 45, this is something I bought off, of, off a friend the other day who was um, just pricing up some records to sell at a car boot. And as you can see, this is Queen's Another One Bites the Dust. Um, and this is it's just a bit of a novelty thing, really. It's, uh, it's a Mexican copy. And what attracted to me was that I, I don't think at this stage um, Queen were using the uh, the brown EMI label on their UK releases. So... Um, so yeah, so that's what attracted me to it. But a great bass, well, a great double sided, you know. The B side is Dragon Attack, which is one of their funkiest tunes, but a uh, great bass line, so lovely. <laughs> Right, okay, now it's not very often in these car boot sale videos that I say that I found a grail, and I definitely have here. So this is Labby Sifri and his album, Remember My Song. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this because, I don't know, it was 10, 15 years ago now, I found three um, Labby Sifri albums at a car boot sale. Now, um, they're £1.50 each, and I pulled them out and I went to pay the guy, and just about to pay him, I thought, you know, how many Labby Sifri albums does one man need? So I bought two of them and I put one back. And the one that I put back was this. And obviously when I got home and I looked at Discogs, I very quickly realized that I'd left the one that is quite sought after. The other two, just good pop records. But this one is popular um, because it contains quite a big sample on it. So Eminem sampled the opening track, I Got The, on his, uh, on his tune, My Name Is. And I'll do a needle drop, you'll, you'll recognize it straight away. Interestingly, on that track, um, Chaz and Dave play on it. So Chaz Hodges plays guitar, Dave Peacock plays bass. And if I had to put together a list of my 10 favorite funk tunes, that would be in there. It's a brilliant song. It's seven minutes long. I'll, so I'll do a brief needle drop, but I can't do it justice. You know, so if you do anything today, I'd recommend just getting on YouTube and just checking out I Got The by Labby Sifri. It's a, it's a funk club. <laughs> Thank you. 
the things I bought from uh, that same car boot, and these are actually a bit more expensive. These were from uh, um, these are from a dealer there. So first up, the Midlands Roots Exp Explosion Volume Two. So this is a compilation of Roots Reggae uh, made in the in the West Midlands uh, in the UK between I think 1977 and 1989 interesting collection of music um some unreleased tracks um uh, lots of rare tunes in there now the ones the big tune on here for me is a, a track by um musical youth obviously many will you know for uh pastor dutchy it's a track called generals and it is just a, a roots reggae well it's a massive tune it's brilliant so um i'm not gonna do a needle drop on it but um again if, if you're into that sort of thing check that out and also from the same dealer, I bought this. Now, this is a record that I've been looking for for years. It's not a rare record. Um, it's Freddie Hubbard and the album Red Clay. Um, I'm sure I could have bought one online, but I do like to, to, to try and pick up records, um, you know, from record shops or record fairs if I can. But this is something that never comes up. It's a great lineup. Uh, Joe Henderson, Herbie Hancock, uh, Ron Carter on bass, Lenny White on drums. It's an absolute classic. So one of the best albums on the CTI label. Now this is a nice copy. The, the jacket is a little bit worn as you can see, but still the record's in great shape. And there's a the CTI label and I'll do a needle drop on that. Okay, so this was just a pound from a local record shop, and this is a record that I only know about because of the VC. So this is Dino Valente, and his, his, I think his only sol, um, solo album. This is from 1967, 68. Now, um, so I only know about, about this record because of the VC. It's been shown a lot over the years, and I think uh, one of the times after seeing it shown, I, I streamed it, and I've listened to it quite a bit you know, online over the years. And sometimes, it's one of those records that sometimes I think it's a right pile of old tosh, and other times I think it's an absolute classic. Um, it's quite, I suppose it's almost a little bit of a novelty because it's, 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 a, it's a folk album, I'd say um, a sort of country folk album, um, but it's got this sort of psychedelic flavour to it because there's loads and loads of reverb on the vocal, almost a comedy effect, but, uh, and that's why I say sometimes I'm not sure about it, but... Um, but yeah, it's an interesting record. This cost me a quid, so I was particularly pleased to find out. The, the, the cover's in VG condition, but the record is excellent. And that's on the orange CBS label, as you can see. Now this was two pounds out of a local uh, record shop uh, bin. This is Rose Royce, Rose Royce 4, uh, produced by Norman Whitfield. Obviously I've done a video on Norman Whitfield Productions previously. Um, I was pleased to find this because this has got a really big tune on it. Um, the song Is It Love You're After was sampled by S Express for the theme, the theme from S Express. And I will do a needle drop on that because it's a great tune. But uh, yeah, the whole album's solid. The ballads are the weaker tunes, um, but the, the sort of uh, the more upbeats of the full on funk and disco tunes are great. So very nice. <laughs> Same day, also picked this up as well. Just a, a 12 on TK Disco. 
Lonnie Smith, Dr. Lonnie Smith, that is, um, with the track Do It. Now, nice tune, late 70s, so it's, it's a little bit disco, but probably leans more towards P-Funk. Um, there's certainly a, a, a large P-Funk influence in it, but I say a quid, really nice. And talking about um, TK Disco, this was a quid from a, a car boot sale. Now, I say I paid a pound, the, the sleeve and everything's a bit knackered. You can get a mint copy for a five, and I, pro I probably will do. But uh, this is Joe Thomas and a, an album called Get In The Wind. Now, Joe Thomas is a flautist, or was a flautist, sorry, passed away a few years ago. Um, but I showed one of his albums in my jazz vinyl tag video. Um, Joe Thomas is the Ebony Godfather. A lot of people commented on that, actually, because of the sleeve, I think. But um, I bought this because it has a version of Bob Sk uh, Boss Skagg's Lowdown. Obviously, it's an instrumental jazz funk version, and it's great. So, yeah, I only just picked it up just to check it out. And I say on the back of that, I will be buying a, a much nicer copy of the album because this is water damaged and ripped and whatever else. So, there you go. just a few reggae finds um, <clears throat> this was just a couple of quid uh, Al Campbell just one dance on the JB music label really nice double sided actually the other track dancing time is great as well um, Pat Kelly and Trinity I'm in love with you um, on tribesman love anything by Pat Kelly always pick it up Trinity if you haven't seen of uh, Trinity passed away a few weeks ago now if you haven't seen Doug Fat City Vinyls sort of tribute video spotlight video on, on Trinity it's worth checking out after watching it I pulled out a load of his 45s that I've got and I spent an evening just playing this stuff so uh, a sign of a good video there and finally another Pat Kelly sorry Pat Kelly uh, 12 also on JB Music produced by Al, Al Campbell uh, this track uh, we all got to be there. <laughs> 